Hey guys, what is going on? It is Daboki here once again, and it's time for some more Wind Archer action. I am here on Panda Boki, just training away on KMS Korean Maple Story. And I gotta say guys, I am really liking the Wind Archer, and I'm really excited for this to come to GMS and all the other MSs. So definitely guys, get ready for some more Wind Archer awesomeness. Now yes, today's topic of the video, I wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about ignorance. Um, because I'm taking an ethics class at the moment. It's a philosophy class for computer science, and it's talking about how just pretty much technology these days are kind of hurting our rights and it's, is it really ethical what some of these computers can do and what technology can do to us um, well it's just got me thinking because he's been explaining all this stuff to us about what the government can do and how much computers are violating our privacy and it's just kind of like wow you know ignorance is truly bliss and if you guys don't know this saying it's a pretty cliche saying and it comes up a lot it's just pretty much saying that the less we know the less we have to worry about and I I think it's true in a lot of cases, but then again, we have to be aware of our surroundings. Now, how many of you guys think ignorance is bliss? That the more you know, the more you have to worry. Uh, especially about, you know, a lot of things that are just happening that we just shouldn't have to worry about in our everyday life. There's a lot of sneaky things going around that we just don't know about, um, that we could just, it wouldn't hurt us if we didn't know about it. Like how much the security camera watches us, or all these kind of things, weird experiments that the governments are performing on little midgets, or I don't know, you know, stuff like that. You know, there are people out there that really like to know about all the little problems that happen in this world. They like to know all the bad things that are happening, so they can kind of just be aware of it. That's good, but if they know all of this, then they have to be worried about it in the back of their head. There's this awesome saying that I did here that's pretty relevant to this. It says, a scared man dies a thousand times a day, but a brave man dies only once in their lifetime. Now, this is like for people that are really paranoid about a lot of stuff. You know, we have to, it's okay to know about bad things, but we have to make sure that it doesn't affect our life. It doesn't affect our daily way of thinking. Um, we can't just be living our whole life scared all the time. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't be aware of these problems and issues because I have a funny story. That I don't know if it's even relevant to this, but it happened to me um, because I was ignorant and it was really dumb and it was embarrassing. But anyways, so Tammy and I were at the gym, 24 hour fitness one day, and we were swimming. We were racing each other, um, doing laps in the swimming pool. And Deboki style, <laughs> um, I can't really swim that well. So what happened was, you know, I just jumped into the pool and, you know, I was like, all right, let's go. And I was just starting to swim, right? And I was racing Tammy. And then all of a sudden, I just started like flapping and Tammy described me looking as a duck that had no wings and I was kind of like oh goodness this is kind of bad so I was pretty much drowning in 24-hour fitness pool and Tammy kind of like comes up to me and pulls my head up you know out of the water and I was like gasping for air and I was looking at her and she was like David you can stand up this is only three feet of pool water and I stand up and the water goes to my stomach line and I'm like oh <laughs> So everyone's like looking at me like what is this kid doing? You know, is he really drowning in the three-foot pool? <laughs> and, um, so anyway, that was pretty ignorant of me because I didn't really know how deep the pool went um, Apparently I can walk the whole pool length But I just assumed that because I was in water um, And I was for some reason my legs weren't working or something or I was just like I ate bricks for breakfast that day I was sinking like a brick brick House. All right, no, we're not going to sing that song, but you know, it's, it was this an experience that will follow me throughout my lifetime because <laughs> Tammy always brings it up about how I almost drowned in three foot of water. So yes, um, it's not good to always be ignorant. You know, you don't want to ignore all the things that are happening. Now that's just that's probably not even related to problems like ignorance is bliss, um, because you want to be aware of your surroundings, right? You want to make sure that you read signs. You know that there are things going on in this world, but just don't let it bother you. I hear people all the time just talking about government, all this stuff, you know, and how they're watching us so closely and they're scanning our pants for underwear or something like that. And airports are violating security laws by looking at our goods um, and our other goods. And, you know, I'm just like, pfft, you know, forget it. Remember, scared man dies a thousand times a day, but a brave man only dies once. So yes, I'll stop jibbering jabbering guys. So tell me your guys' thoughts on this ignorance is bliss. Is it good to not know too many things so that you don't have to worry? Or is it good to know? Is it good to know about problems happening in life? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Debogi. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And leave a thumbs up. It'll make me super happy, Panda. Keep it real, guys. It's Debogi style. And we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.